Okay, everybody, welcome back to uh, People Power Farm in Northern California. So what we got here, uh, you see here, I put a trap up here for, for a swarm and uh, trying to get a swarm, trying to get some bees. So I'm gonna take this down and re-trap it. That's already there, it's inside already. Okay, put a frame in, it'll fit. Put it inside, that's it. And they'll build comb around here. We're gonna use Swarm Commander on this one. Take the bottle. You don't want to spray too much. It's very expensive. That's it.
Don't make it too tight. If you make it too tight, it'll be, when the bees are in there, it'll be hard to untie it. So keep it simple. Take one of these. I used to tie it all the way around. It was so difficult to take it apart. Oh, well, I had a big scene going on. It was my first time. It was, this thing was full of comb and honey. Oh, it's terrible. And they attacked me. It wasn't that great. I got stung a lot. Too. A little tight here. That's it, see? Pretty much it. As you know, like I said, the frames inside there, right? The, the, the frames inside, right? Inside. And then uh, that's what we do. Right? The frame. So, have the frame. Over here, I got the frame in, inside. A little more better. Sorry, frame is inside here, and you see how the comb is. They'll build comb around it. They'll build you know, enough. Uh, we don't want it to build it all away. I mean, you can. You can pull it out and put it right into a medium box, right? There you go. All right. So, Swarm Commander. Let's see what she got. Okay, we're back here now. Now this is the scenario. I'm going to use premium swarm lure. This is what it is. It's $35 a bottle. Okay, that's quite a bit. I think so. The gentleman says that it's just not an ordinary spray. What do you mean? Just not something that you can make your own. Okay, take a good, take a good look at that. He says you don't, he makes it himself. He's a chemist. He used to be, and they call it Swarm Commander. Okay? Now, what people usually do is that they'll use lemongrass oil. Okay? And this works also. But the gentleman says this is better. So I'm hoping that this is true. Now, if it's not true, then maybe it's not good for this area. Maybe you have to be down south, Mississippi, Ohio. I don't know. We're in California now. So that being said, I've used this before. I think I've caught a swarm from it before last year. If I'm not mistaken, I think I have done that. And this is new for me this year. So we're gonna go back and spray this on the uh, plant pots, right? Put two together, I screwed them together, and then I put a frame in there, and I'll show it to you. I just wanna let you know what I'm using, and then you have a choice, 35, or ten dollars they swear by this and other beekeepers say that they swear by this well I'm a beekeeper and I'm gonna see if it works in California and that's it now about swarms well swarms are natural they come from hives that they develop another queen and she wants to take bees with her another generation another place for them to live so they split their own hive They'll split them on themselves. You don't need to split the hive. They'll do it. Now, naturally, that's what they do. Remember, bees make honey or make more bees. And their life cycle is to make more bees, make a new queen, and move on and make more bees and another queen and more bees. And, as you know, they make honey so they can eat to keep doing the cycle over and over again. So humans, we interfere with their cycle. Sometimes you get a swarm and sometimes you can keep it. Sometimes they just come by and do their stuff. Don't like the box, don't like what you put them in and they move somewhere else. You can't control that. So in this video, we're gonna show you how we do it and then we're gonna come back and see what the results are. Now I'm in the forest here. There's bees everywhere, but bees like to go where there's a lot of flowers, a lot of plants. We have trees here. We have different types of trees. 
And I can't go through that now with the video. I will one day. But right now, we're just going to keep it simple. So that's it for now. Let's see what happens. All right. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to go ahead and use this swarm commander on this one. So we're going to do two swarms, right? One that's there, right? Up on the tree, as you know, and the one that's here. I'm going to spray it on the level here, on the edge here, so they can smell it and hopefully go in there. Okay? Let's give it a try. Here. Okay, a little bit, right there, see, that's it, Maybe a little more over here, that's it, so that was real simple, and yeah, there's a little bit spraying, and, and that should work out for you. Let's give Swarm Commander a good try, like I always say. Never know. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more. And we got some other stuff coming up too. Uh, us catching a swarm uh, at a woman's uh, house, a location here in Northern California. And I'll shoot that video to you. You can check it out. If you like it, subscribe. Likes are always good. And I'll be making some, some videos, but I'm getting to be busy and Sometimes I don't have time to make videos. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.